state your identity. My name is David Kernist. Occupation, lobbyist. I work in international politics. Lobbyist in which field? Explain and be more specific. Well, agribusiness. Mainly meat and dairy products. At the same time, I was working in the arms industry and in the petrochemical and nuclear industries for about 25 years. Mr. Carnes, do you know why you are here? No, not at all. You have been selected among the few survivors of your species to answer for its murderous actions. I am now going to read the charges to you. Accused of the largest genocide of sentient and conscious beings with a death toll reaching at least one trillion each year. Accused of draining to exhaustion most of the planet's natural resources in less than 10,000 years. Accused of the highest degree of species crimes such as bullfighting, hunting, intensive animal farming, the fur and leather industries, zoos, circuses, and so on and so on. The list is far too long and we cannot name them all. And finally, accused of causing your own extinction while dragging most of the other life forms down with you. What the hell does speciesism mean? Speciesism is an ideology which justifies and imposes the exploitation of animals. From murder to slavery, including abuse. It's a bit like racism or sexism, but applied to animals. Mr. Carnist, do you require a lawyer? No. I will represent myself. Very well. I shall now give the floor to the prosecution, represented by Mr. Watson. Thank you, Your Honor. Hello, Mr. Carnist. We are going to raise three issues, which are public health, environment, and ethics. Three fundamental issues that you deliberately overshadow throughout your career and which are the very cause of your species extinction. You must be joking. Who are you to judge me? Is this a joke? A gang of monkeys, stupid chickens, filthy hogs, and disgusting rats. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Let me out of here, right now! Mr. Carnist! You have no permission to speak! The crimes for which you stand accused are of extreme gravity! And you may never see the light of day again! My wife! My kids! They are currently in a safe place, and you may only see them again if you cooperate. Mr. Carnist, do you know how many people have died as a consequence of cardiovascular diseases, osteoporosis, colorectal cancer, obesity, or type 2 diabetes? I have no idea. Millions! And you know it! What is the leading cause of all these diseases? Meat and dairy products. This is preposterous! Meat is indispensable for our good health, and we need animal protein. Objection, Your Honor! The defendant is lying. Sustained. Mr. Carnist, I have here more than 50 independent scientific studies from all over the world, including from Harvard and Oxford, which all come to the opposite conclusion. All the necessary protein and amino acids are found in vegetables, fruits and grains. The optimum quantity of meat for human health is zero! Meat was killing more humans every year than the tobacco industry. And you expect me to believe that dairy products are not essential for our bones? I'll go even further than this. They harm your bones! They are, with meat, the number one cause of osteoporosis and bone decalcification. And you, Mr. Carnist, knew it all too well. Can you name even one animal species which continues to drink milk after winning, and the milk of another species at that? You have been financing skepticism for years and persuading people that consuming them was indispensable. You have also financed daily propaganda campaigns to incite them to always consume more. Are all these accusations true, Mr. Carnist? Are 
they true? Yes. We financed advertising campaigns. My organization wove links with influential people within the Department of Health. We also financed misleading studies intended for nutritionists with the objective of demonstrating the necessity of consuming these products daily. And of course, we contributed to the dissemination of this information to every physician in the country. How was it possible that no physician opposed this scientific aberration? They did not know. We took advantage of the fact that physicians receive almost no education about nutrition during the course of their studies. So, they end up following governmental recommendations. Mr. Carnist, how did you transform the life of innocent beings into fundamental and indispensable daily consumer goods? It all started after World War I, when people were afraid of going hungry again. That's when we decided to set up intensive animal farming and slaughterhouse assembly lines. Four. The car manufacturer decided to adopt our system in reverse. Instead of using one piece to make several, he used several pieces to make one product. For him, it was cars. And for us, it was animals. Now let's establish the links existing between your industry and environmental destruction. So now I give the floor to Dr. Karapovsky, specialist in environmental issues. Thank you, your honor! Hello, Mr. Carnist! Do you know how many gallons of water are needed to produce about one pound of meat? Where are you going with this? About 2,500 gallons are necessary to produce a pound of beef compared to only 25 gallons for one pound of wheat which means that vegetarians leaving the tap water running round the clock a whole year would still consume 13% less water than meat eaters being very careful with their water consumption So what? You don't really believe everyone will become fucking tofu eaters, munch on grass and suck on rocks, do you? Let's talk about that! More than 90% of all soy produced on Earth was used in intensive animal farming! And it's because of this murderous industry that two-thirds of the Amazon rainforest has been destroyed! Half of all the planet's groundwater pollution again was caused by this murderous industry. Incidentally, land pollution was aggravated by the dangerous herbicide Rwanda, created and supplied by your dear financial partner Monsanto. Right now, we are going to talk about flatulence and caca. Cows, which you concentrated by the millions, were forced to become one of the greatest predators of the oceans due to all the fish meal you were using to feed them. And it's by feeding me to an herbivore that you gave birth to mad cow disease. These cows alone released into the atmosphere titanic quantities of methane, which had the effect of producing 50% more greenhouse gases than all means of transport combined. Cars, airplanes, boats, and trains. Which means that a vegetarian could drive a Hummer all his life and still pollute 10 times less than a meat eater riding a bike. Your environmentalists always made me laugh because of how little credibility they had eating their steak while insulting people driving a four-wheel drive. The human species has exerted itself for years to produce millions of tons of grains. More than 30% of this production was intended for the innocent prisoners of this extermination farming which you transform into steaks every day! All this production could have fed 12 billion human beings! This is absolutely despicable! 
Knowing that more than 3 million children were dying of hunger each year, that more than 1 billion human beings didn't eat their fill, it's utterly outrageous to quench your unhealthy and always more voracious desire for flesh, tendon and blood. You mathematically needed three planets. You created a consumerist system based on an infinite growth in a world with finite resources. You have destroyed this world which had given birth to you. Please continue, Doctor. So, as I was already explaining, millions of tons of animal excrement were poured on the soil, which had the effect of destroying it and polluting most of the groundwater. So you decided to dump it into the sea. As a result, the phenomenon known as toxic green algae appeared all around Lake Erie and also has increased the level of ocean acidification. Coral reefs, which are fundamental to marine life, started to die out. And then came the fish's turn, of which 7 out of 10 major species already were on the brink of extinction because of your intensive fishing! Phytoplankton also started to die out. They were producing 50% of the planet's oxygen! Sharks, which had been regulating marine life for 450 million years, were a pillar of marine ecosystem balance. You slaughtered 90% of their population in less than 10 years! Sharks were killing less humans each year than mosquitoes or elephants. Each year, 10,000 animal species were going extinct and every day, 5 species of plants were dying out! That's when you triggered the sixth mass extinction in the planet's history! You were its cause. And you were its victim. Mr. Carniest, do you confirm the veracity of these facts? Evidence, numbers, studies, statistics. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. We were living in a consumerist world. And my role was to create needs, to generate profits. And that was doing all of this? Legally! But in the name of which laws was this legal? Was it man's law? What about the unchangeable laws of nature? Humans were behaving like megalomaniacal teenagers, admiring and glorifying their own stupidity, thinking they were the ultimate divine creation. To this end, you even wrote three bestsellers in which you self-proclaimed as the most beautiful creation of God, which of course legitimized the enslavement and persecution of black people, women and homosexuals, but also made you feel superior to every other species. It's interesting to note that just like you, animals possess a tongue to taste, eyes to see, organs to digest, genitals to reproduce, but only you were able to use your brain, despite the fact that all animals possess one. The worst in all of this is that eminent scientists have scientifically demonstrated that you were lying, signing in 2012 the Cambridge Declaration on Animal Consciousness. I don't give a fuck. Let me go. You have no right to detain me. Let me go right now. Immediately. Mr. Carniest. Here, nobody can hear you scream. No compromise, no bribe will be tolerated. You are no longer judged by men, but by those that you have slaughtered. So now, Look at what you've done. Mr. Carnist, you have worked in the arms industry if I'm not mistaken. I would like you to tell the jury how much money was invested in the war industry each year. Well, $1,464 billion. That's utterly despicable! Knowing how much your species was suffering from poverty, lack of medical care and malnutrition. You preferred investing in the slaughter of innocents instead. Mr. Carniest, thanks to your media, your obsolete educational system and your corrupt politicians, you have taught mankind 
this annoying and moronic tendency to rank issues. To think that saving the economy was more important than saving the oceans, forests of the animals on this planet. It's this hierarchical view of life with your species at its top that destroyed everything. You are like all those humans who refuse to visit orphanages or animal shelters on the pretext that it breaks their hearts to match what it is precisely because nobody ever visits them that these beings remain there without a family and forgotten by all. You prefer promoting intensive reproduction in a world that you were destroying before your very eyes. You are part of all things on this planet because everything is connected on this earth which is your true mother. You have destroyed her, hollowed her, butchered her, polluted her, and totally bled her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I never thought about it. I just wanted to earn my life, to make sure my children wouldn't lack for anything, and my wife would be happy. The system was rotten, I know it. But I loved my life. Objection, Your Honor! Did you really love your life? I have here your medical record. It's very interesting. Daily use of Xanax and alcohol. And I also read that you have been diagnosed with depression. You think I was the only one? Almost everybody used them. They were drowning themselves in legal drugs. They broke down eventually. And why do you think that was? Because you were living in an antiseptic world. Your cities are nothing more than vessels disconnected from the earth. Trees are confined to 10 square feet. Plants no longer grow there. Forests are raised to the ground. The air is polluted. Your food and your water are poisoned. Your young are sick. Your old are rejected. And your poor, forsaken. Your media conditioned you to be dehumanized and you accepted it all. Krishnamurti wrote that it is no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. You are the perfect example of this, but also its cause. It's easy to criticize, huh? None of us can do anything. And anyway, even if we wanted to, we would end up being crushed eventually! Have you ever heard this wonderful proverb? Those who really want to do something will find a way. Those who don't will find excuses. Here is another that contradicts this so-called helplessness you instilled in your people to ensure your best interests. Try sleeping in a closed room with a mosquito. We're going to see which one of you prevents the other from sleeping. No matter how small you think you are, you have an impact. Your Honor, I'd like to begin the last part of my argumentation. Ethics. Please do, Mr. Watson. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Carnist, how is it possible to teach a child empathy and the will to live in a world of peace, justice and equality, while legitimizing the murder of an innocent, sentient and conscious being for 10 minutes of gustatory pleasure. Answer the question! We need to eat. Humans are omnivores. And we have been eating meat since the dawn of time. Truth hurts, doesn't it? That's the way it's always been, and that's the way it always will be. Objection, Your Honor! Absolutely sustained! I once again call Dr. Karapovsky. Mr. Karnist, what you are claiming isn't truly really correct. It is true that humans once were hunter-gatherers, but they were so in answer to adaptation and the need to survive. Your argument that it is necessary to eat meat because you have always done so has no weight! Because you also have always made war and that doesn't justify the need to continue to do so. Humans can eat almost anything. But should they do so, would they be healthy? Absolutely not! You are indeed able to digest certain quantities of meat. 
but in theory you are also able to digest excrement. Should you? For the sole reason that you are able to do so. Eat some. I'm fed up with this. Meat is good. And I don't give a shit if animals are dying. I love meat. Shut up! Dr. Karabowski is here to expose facts to the jury, and your opinion is hardly of any interest to us. So it would be wise for you to make silence your golden rule. Please continue, doctor. Mr. Carnist, we shall put aside the usual dietary, cultural or traditional habits which hold no ground here. Indeed, if tradition is to be used as an argument, Allow me to remind you that certain countries accept female genital mutilation that consists of cutting the clitoris of a woman, dismemberment, or stoning as traditions. So these arguments have no value, since you have at your disposal thousands of delicious plant products. I'd like to add that the real issue is that you did everything to hide these solutions from the world. You've taken part in the creation of elaborate propaganda campaigns which were inciting humans to consume meat and dairy products several times a week, sometimes even several times a day. You spread rumors according to which vegans were nutritionally deficient, anorexic and marginalized. You imprisoned activists freeing animals and treated them like international terrorists while you were responsible for the largest genocide of sentient and conscious beings. More than one trillion terrestrial and aquatic animals for 10 minutes of selfish pleasure. Stop comparing people to animals. They're not the same thing. And what are you, Mr. Carnist? An animal. Megalomaniacal and egocentric, I'll give you that. But science has shown that all animals possess self-awareness and can feel pleasure, pain, and fear. All of these at various degrees different from human beings. But do you believe a mentally challenged child on the pretext that he is less conscious than a normal child? That it is justified to dismember and eat him for 10 minutes of selfish pleasure? You have no right over animals. You have a duty. The duty to protect them instead of destroying them. You have crushed their minds and bodies, reducing them to mere merchandise and consumer goods. In your world, animals were not considered individuals. They were counted in pounds and tons. Which species, apart from yours, could still have pity for you? The great writer Isaac Bashevis Singer predicted it. He wrote, As long as people will shed the blood of innocent creatures, there can be no peace, no liberty, no harmony. There will be no justice as long as man continues to hold a knife or a gun and destroys those who are weaker. I rest my case, Your Honor. Mr. Carnist, do you have anything to say before the sentence is passed? Yes, this child is a farce. I have no regrets. Humans are sheep. They do as they're told. One day they love you, and the next day they hate you. They consciously elect liars and thieves to rule over them. <laughs> and then, of course, they complain. We lie. We steal. We exploit. We betray. Animals aren't kind to each other. I don't see why we should be kind to them. That's the food chain, Mr. Watson. Nothing more, nothing less. In my eyes, they are just animals. Mr. Carnist, after jury deliberations, you are found guilty. The sentence is dismemberment and the processing of your flesh into ground meat, a product that you commercialized. Mr. Muffin Top is here now and will carry out the sentence. No, no, no! You have no right! I hate you all! <laughs> Some ground meat, 
shall we? But don't worry, honey, you won't feel a thing! Because I'm gonna slaughter you humanely! Yeah! <laughs> Wow, chill out! Watch out! Ready? No one is ever ready! This is what trillions of beings have endured because of your actions! And this is what you hate! Your whole life! In the eyes of suffering, human and non-human animals are all equal. Silence! Now that you are aware, act and change! Because all these tragedies are happening every second. You don't have a choice anymore. Cause we won't let you go. Ever.